Okay, in this video, we are going to prove a relationship between the vertex connectivity, the edge connectivity, and the minimum degree in the graph. So the relationship is as follows: the edge, uh, the vertex connectivity is always less than or equal to the edge connectivity, which is always less than or equal to the minimum degree in the graph. So before proving this uh, statement, let's look at some examples. Okay, so let's consider this graph G and find the uh, vertex connectivity, the edge connectivity. Okay, the vertex connectivity kappa, edge connectivity lambda, and the minimum degree of vertices in this graph. Okay, minimum degree of vertices will be so if you look you look at this vertex, degree is three, degree three, four, four, okay, four. Okay, I think delta is three. Okay, so let's look at at the vertex connectivity of this graph. Okay, the vertex connectivity by definition is the minimum number of vertices need to remove. Okay, that uh, that will result in a disconnected graph. So here we can see that okay, if we delete okay, these two vertices, the graph will become disconnected. So that is two here minimum number of vertices. Similarly, if we delete this one and this one, okay, I think uh, <coughs> the vertex connectivity of this graph is two. Okay, and similarly, you can see that if you look at this graph, so if you delete these two edges, the graph will become disconnected. Okay, so in order to disconnect, uh, okay, we need to delete these three. Okay, these three are so those are greater than uh, two. Okay, so that says lambda. Okay, this lambda is equal to the edge connectivity is also equal to two. So we we can see that it satisfies this condition. Two, which is equal to two, okay, less than three, okay. And okay, here okay, this particular graph, for this particular graph, we have this strict inequality. Okay, here if you look into this particular graph, we can see that uh, the minimum degree is like one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Minimum degree is like four, and the vertex connectivity of this graph, the uh, kappa of this graph is. Okay, so here we can see that if we delete this vertex and this vertex, okay, the graph be become disconnected. Okay, so that says kappa. The vertex connectivity of this graph is two. So what about the edge connectivity? So edge connectivity means okay, we need to delete this edge, this edge, and this edge, right? Okay, or three. Okay, uh, if we delete this, uh, these three again, we can see that. The graph will become disconnected. Okay. Okay. I think I, if I add one more red, we can see that all these how degree four. Okay. I think now now the degree is four. My earlier degree was three. Sorry for that. So anyway, I am trying to give a strict inequality. Here, okay. So so in this case, delta equal to four. Okay. And here we can see that uh, the uh, edge connectivity of this graph is three. So we need to delete these three. Okay, so here we have uh, this strict inequality: two less than three, less than four. Okay. Okay, so let's go and prove uh, this statement. Okay, so let's first prove uh, this part: lambda less than or equal to delta. That's the uh, edge connectivity uh, of any connected graph is always less than or equal to the minimum degree in that graph. Okay, so okay, so let G be a connected graph. And okay, V be a vertex of G with smallest degree. Okay, so that is the V is going to have uh, this delta. Okay, so let G be a connected graph and V be uh, vertex of D, the vertex of G, okay, with the smallest degree. Okay, with the smallest degree. Okay, so that means. Okay, so that is the degree of this vertex V in G is equal to the delta. So delta is the minimum degree 
in any graph. Okay, so that says if the de degree of this vertex V is delta, okay, uh, delta edges. Okay, so therefore delta edges are incident with with the vertex V. Okay, so delta edges. that are incident with vertex V are, are to be removed from G to isolate the vertex V. Okay? Therefore, delta edges that are incident with vertex V are required to be to be removed from G to isolate the vertex V. Okay, so if we delete uh, those edges, we can see that okay, now the graph is disconnected. Okay, and that says okay, lambda is less than or equal to delta. Okay, so thus the removal of those delta edges will leave the graph disconnected. And okay, we saw that connectivity of a graph is the minimum number of edges required to be removed from the graph to disconnect that. So this is going to be the minimum number of edges that we need to delete to make that graph disconnected. Okay. And that says uh, lambda is less than or equal to delta. Okay. So let me write down what I said. So thus removal of those delta edges will leave the graph disconnected. Okay, and we know that connectivity of a graph is, is the minimum number of as the edge connectivity of a graph is the minimum number of edges minimum number of edges required to be removed okay, from a graph to disconnect it okay require to be removed from a graph to disconnect it. Okay. Okay, so it follows that. So okay, this lambda is less than or equal to delta. Okay, and that's what we proved here. So we proved this part. Okay. And let's go and prove the other direction. Okay. So let's prove the vertex connectivity kappa is less than or equal to the edge connectivity lambda. Okay. So okay, we started with this graph G and let the edge connectivity of GP lambda. Okay, so let the edge edge connectivity of G be lambda. Okay, so that says there exists a cut set say yes of G containing this lambda at just of G. Okay, so there exists a cut set. So that's what edge connectivity means. Okay, the minimum number of edges that we need to delete to make the graph disconnected. Okay, 
so that says there exists a there exists a cut set s of g containing these okay containing the g is lambda it just of g okay so that's for sure in anyway. a uh, by the definition of edge connectivity okay and suppose that this s is going to partition our vertex set into to this joint says say v1 and v2 so in an earlier video uh, okay we saw that right and when we discussed the definition of uh, cut set we saw that any cut set partition the vertex set of circuit off okay and suppose that this s suppose this s partition the vertex set set of vertices of graph g into this joint subset say v1 and v2 okay so let's see what we can do with this particular thing so again you can see that if you okay look at this partition and these lambda edges belong to this cut set okay we can see uh, we can see that one end point of each edge okay is in v1 and the other end point will be in v2 okay so so that say something like this okay we have this partition v1 and v2 okay and okay, it has some number of vertices it has some number of vertices and there are some edges okay within this uh, component and we have this thing okay so we have these connected components and from this to this okay we have these cut edges okay and if we delete this okay, then the graph will become disconnected and we call uh, this set of edges yes okay we can see that if we look uh, at an edge at the end point of an edge in s the one end point is in v1 if one end point is in v1 then the other end point will be in v2 similarly uh, okay for any other edge in the graph okay so and here the size of this is lambda okay so we can see that at most lambda end points of the edges okay in that cut set yes lie in each of okay b1 and b2 okay and that's what we saw here right so we uh, consider these uh, edge just belong to a cut side one end point will be in b1 and the other end point will be in b2 okay so at, so at most lambda end points of the edge just in just lie in each of b1 and b2 okay so thus by removing okay, the at most this many vertices from either v1 or v2 okay, that are incident with the edges in this s okay we can see that the graph will become disconnected okay and that says the edge connectivity is less than or equal to this thing okay lambda so thus uh, by removing at most lambda vertices from either the v1 or v2 okay that are incident with uh, 
the adjust images okay, that are okay, inside with the adjust in yes okay all the edges okay all the edges in this as will get removed and the graph will become disconnected okay so all the edges in this will be removed and since this is a cut set uh, the graph will become disconnected okay all the edges in this will be removed from graph G okay and the graph will become disconnected okay, leaving it disconnected okay and we know the wettest connectivity of a connected graph is the minimum number of vertices whose removal disconnect it okay and that uh, we saw okay the cardinality of this set is lambda and only need to okay remove at most lambda to get the graph disconnected lambda vertices to make the graph disconnected okay so as the vertex connectivity or the connectivity of a connected graph is the minimum number of minimum number of vertices whose removal this connection okay it and so okay we can see that kappa is always less than equal to lambda okay so combining okay this and this okay we get the So combining one and two, okay, we get the vertex connectivity is less than or equal to the edge connectivity, which is less than or equal to the minimum degree in the graph. Okay, and that's the proof. Okay, so we proved uh, this relationship between the vertex connectivity, edge connectivity, and the minimum degree in the graph.